getting back to Kane and Taze because they're the two highest paid players on the team. They're the two highest profile guys on the team, and they should be held to that standard. I know they did great things seven years ago, right? But at some point, we've got to start analyzing these guys as the $10.5 million players they are, and they've both played like ass lately. And there's no sugarcoating it. And if they're checked out and they don't want to be here, they shouldn't wait till mid-February to let Kyle Davidson know that. And that's the news we got today from Jeff Merrick. And and then he was also on the pregame show today saying, yeah, we're going to talk in mid-February. I don't need to see three, four more weeks of this. I, I can tell by watching the Blackhawks over the last two games and, frankly, the last decent stretch that neither of those guys are too invested right now. And we talk about beyond this year, right? Even if they decide to stay, I think we talked about this earlier this week. If they come to Richardson and – or Dave, I've done that twice now. If they come to Davidson and say, we want to come back, to me, it's thanks but no thanks. Because from what you've seen from these guys over the last little stretch here, I, it's, it's, I, I don't want to – look, I'm trying not to make this uh, an overreaction – and I'm, I'm trying to, like, calm myself. But I really believe that more of that is, is borderline toxic. You don't need that attitude in the locker room. And if they think right. they're just going to play out the end of their careers here and, and it's going to be a farewell tour for two more years or whatever. I have no thanks. That doesn't help this team I, take the next step. And I think Kyle Davidson doesn't want anything to do with that either. Uh, we talked a couple weeks ago that, like, uh, you know, is it time to move on from the Taves and Kane era? Is it time to just let it go and let the past be the past? I'm ready. With I was ready when we asked that question. With every passing game, I'm just like, let's do it. It's if we're going to do it, tear it down, tear it all the way down. Those were amazing years. Yep, that was the best time to be a Blackhawks fan ever. We're gonna look back at those years as the golden age of Blackhawks hockey. But it's over. Yeah. It, is, it is over. It's been over. It's time to try something new and move on and try and find the next Patrick Kane and Jonathan Taves. 